So full disclosure, I've never actually used Quickly, but I do know people that do. I, I've considered it kind of in the past, especially now that I'm in the Bricks ecosystem rather than the uh, Elementor ecosystem that I was in before. And I've heard only good things mainly about Quickly, but I haven't been in it enough, right? I haven't been in that that world enough. So I just want to super high level some thoughts on this because I think it's really interesting the reasoning in which it has been publicly announced, at least literally this morning, about why this has taken place. So if you go to Quickly's website right now, it says discontinue. Of, they're not doing it anymore. They're just discontinuing it. This is a screenshot that I took that is a letter, I guess, that was sent directly to the subscribers of the plugin and everything like that. And they're in, um, you know, the founder, Lewis and team here, they're talking about, you know, they've gotten like onslaught of destructive posts and comments about certain certain people and different things like that negativity and hostility towards quickly um and in like a negative climate i mean this is a really powerful letter that uh that they wrote here obviously was obviously with some serious fe uh feelings and stuff that they have that they have had and uh, i'm assuming this i'm assuming i'm assuming this this didn't happen overnight you know the 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 uh, decision here they've they've considered it right and i just want to like give my two cents and my two thought my two cents of thought on um exactly what i've experienced so far in this community and it, it is actually not this isn't a great representation of it in my opinion but again i, I don't know their experience i'm not commenting on on them specific on uh, quickly and lewis and everything like that i've never spoken to Lewis. i don't i've never used quickly but i but i i'm in the same circles and if you don't care about this, that's totally fine. I won't be offended if you don't listen to the rest of this. But my point is that I've learned from dealing with the WordPress community so far, just like in like deeply in the last five, six months, is that it can be very slightly divisive in certain ways. Like I, I don't know why or how, but it's not it's not it's not like I don't feel like a lot of times out of malicious intent, but it is more out of just the fact that everybody has their certain thing that they like or their certain tool set that they use. And then there's obviously like a lot of best practices and, and like like things built into that. And sometimes there is emotion that gets wrapped up in all of that. It's to me, it's extremely interesting. Like I, I hope I don't have to ever deal with like negativity and all and what you know, whatever's depicted in this specific um, you know, letter necessarily. And I don't know ins and outs of the whole story there. But I'm just saying in general, like I don't wish that on anybody, but I will say that I think just in life that's probably going to exist in some form. And for some reason, some of that may exist in like the WordPress community and uh, just, you know, by association with, you know, it being a thing. But um, the one advice that I could give if I, if I can to any, to any piece of it is that like, I have already seen that. And I just think that the best way to combat it is to just not give a shit about it. Like do your absolute best to not give a shit about. It. Now, I'm not saying in every instance again, I'm not using I'm just using this as the high level example. I'm not saying if it's even possible in every instance, but to me, it's like I've gotten negative comments on YouTube videos, not oh, not many cuz you guys are fantastic, but I've gotten that before. It's like just smile and wave, you know what I mean? Like just kill them with happiness, like kill them with kindness. Like I don't I don't know a better way to deal with it because if you're getting combative and crazy and stuff like that, it's just, it's difficult. Now, again, everybody has their personal preferences and things along those lines, but at the end of the day, we're all just trying to build websites, either make our clients happy, try to educate others. And for some reason, all those opinions sometimes just get in the way and that emotion starts to kind of build and, 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 and have something there. So, um, I don't know. I, I like I said. I just have a lot of thoughts on this video, this 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 situation because it just happened, and I wanted to make this video because that is the thing that 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 brings it back for me is, you know that that is unfortunate. The 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 contents of that of that letter are unfortunate, um, and you know to anybody else that like feels that way, whether you've do dove into the to the you know the more community aspect before and you think there's, you know, um, I don't know, just any sort of negativity or anything like that. I would just say try to ignore it as best as you can and try to, you know, kill them with kindness or kill them with like education. Uh, and I don't know, it's kind of interesting. So I'm just interested to see, you know, what you guys think. And, um, you know, obviously I wish the best for, for Lewis and the team and everything over quickly. I wish the best for all the people that are using quickly. Cause I have to, I know that other, I know people are, and I don't know, um, you know, hopefully, hopefully they transition well to another, to another builder or, or what have you. But uh, just an interesting thing that I want to chat about. Quick video. That's all I got, guys. Thank you so much. I'd love to hear your comments and your thoughts down below. Thank you. I'll talk to you in the next one.